and just pulled up and parked the truck on this, this is the dead end gravel road. When Kerryway spins the camera around, you'll see some kind of where these taller pines, those limbs that are hanging out on the right hand side of the road down there, a whole hundred yards or so. The timber changes right there and hits an edge. We located coats on that edge. So we're gonna walk down this gravel road, the wind's coming back down the road like this. So it should be coming off that edge back this way too. So keeping the wind in mind, we're gonna walk down, hit that edge, walk in a little ways, find us a decent spot. It's thick in here, so we'll just take what we can get. We can go down there, hit that edge, cut in, and set up. And those located coats are hopefully still on that edge or pretty close. And uh, we'll just do what we've been doing. We've been killing coats pretty steady. Start out with two or three lone howls. Sometimes we'll follow that with two or three more lone howls. And then we'll go right into some pup distress. I've got several new sounds we'll be testing out. We're gonna run some of those and hopefully kill a coyote here shortly. Let's go down here and see if we can make it happen. set up on this edge right here because the wind's blowing like this. I'm going to set the collar right over here on the edge and hopefully we can pull that cow either out of this thicker stuff. It's thick enough here, but hopefully pull it across in front of us if it wants to get try to get downwind or maybe it'll run this edge straight in here to us. But uh, we'll walk over here set the call out. We'll see what happens. They can't run over you any faster or any closer than that without literally getting in your pocket. The collar's sitting right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. 
It's a wonder I even got that cow. I'm through shooting through all kinds of, if it wasn't for the apex, I probably wouldn't have got it because that thing was running wide open. Come out of the middle of nowhere, literally run to what, four yards? <laughs> Maybe closer, three or four yards. That's when Caroline it's seen us. wheeled. Yeah, it seen us and tore out. And I just mowed down all kinds of crap and got in it. And, uh, man, you talk about some kicking stuff. I ain't sure it didn't break my finger. You seen you probably seen me shaking my <laughs> hand. That last shot, the trigger guard jumped back. Look at that finger. Dang. <laughs> oh, I ain't sure. I mean it, it it got in there pretty deep. But uh Hey, brand new sound. First time it's ever been played. I've been editing, we've been playing new sounds. It's the first time I played this one. It was uh MFK stanky pup one week that's a stinking little female one week old and uh <laughs> that sucker right there run over the top of it i mean it just can't be any quicker than that pretty good i would say we'd keep on calling but i've shot three times <laughs> <laughs> Say so just go get the coat. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna walk over here and pick this thing up and uh, we'll take a little better look at it. Do you know what you got? Uh uh. I just swung on it. Turn and, and point. I can't believe it wasn't doing a little hollering. <laughs> I know one thing. It did some damage to my finger. And the cow. Well. This thing is broke all two pieces, but it ought to be. I shot it. Look at the amount of pellets in it. Can you see that? I can with my eye. Let me zoom in. It's yeah. no wonder I didn't miss it. As close as it was. That's Man. a tight pattern that distance. That shooting through all this crap, I really needed to be on a stool. But, uh, just a quick recap on the hunt. Gravel roads right here behind us. I come in here two nights ago, heard a pair of coats right here on this edge. This is a little bit bigger timber, shorter timber here, makes an edge. Could tell those couch were pretty close to this edge. It's thick in here as always, really too thick to make a setup, but got to work with what you got when that's where the couch are. So we come in off this gravel road, and uh, I'll tell you another thing. I start coming in straight down wind and run right through it. Do you? I mean, because the wind was blowing right there the whole time. It run right through it and right up in our lap. But anyway, we sat out with the wind blowing back this way expecting the coyotes to come down this edge. Didn't go as planned. The coyote actually come from straight down wind of us. Howled, I think, uh, howled two or three times on the smooth talker, MFK smooth talker that I've got in my mouth. Tried to answer it directly with a brand new howl that I just recorded yesterday called MFK Rue Howls 1, female howls. And uh, I didn't have a collar on, so I had to jump up, turn the collar on, come back, and then do the howl. So that was kind of a screwed up deal right off the bat. I went ahead and did those howls, waited a minute or so, kicked on, like I said a while ago, brand new cat sound called Stanky Pup One Week. It's just a little female pup. It's one week old, first time it's ever been played. Kicked it on, it didn't holler what, five or six screams maybe. And that cow was in our lap. I'd say 10 seconds made the best. Yeah, I mean it was in our lap, wheel, it seen us. I mean it run literally to our boots wheel to run and I seen it about the time it wheeled and uh, put a load of apex in its ass trying to knock its teeth out but uh, it uh, it took that first load and then I don't even know if I hit it on the second shot there was so much crap to shoot through I could barely see the coat and then it finally raised its head back up and I shot it one more time there in the chest on that last shot to finish it off but 
she's so broke up in the back end, it wasn't going nowhere, no running gear. But uh, anyway, to uh, get any of our stuff, just go to the website, mfkgamecalls.com. If you're watching this hunt, want to tune in, see us killing more stuff, kind of how we go about it, sounds we use, all that stuff, uh, just subscribe to the channel, MFK Game Calls on YouTube. Appreciate y'all watching. Thank you.